channel karaoke i'm vineet i read tarot intuitively and today we're doing another timeless pick a card reading on how do you see yourself versus who are you truly so we have three piles to choose from pile number one we have the maiden card pile number two we have the mumusa card and pile number three we have the interloper card so take a minute see what pile is being called to you and the description box will have the timestamps below for your pile. And again, this is going to be a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you would like to reach out for a private reading, my email ID and my Instagram handle is given in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in your reading. Thank you. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the maiden card, this is going to be a reading. So today we are asking spirit how do you see yourself and who are you really? So you're represented here by the Maiden card. This is how you see yourself. And below the Maiden card, we have the Sea Goddess card. And this is how, this is who you are truly. So we're looking at your self-perception. So what I'm getting here is, pile number one, you see yourself as a perpetual novice here. You, you very much are in touch with your inner child and you have you have a delicate nurturing way of really taking care of yourself here regardless of the external circumstances you go through here. But the main message I'm really getting from these two cards representing how you see yourself and who you really are is you see yourself as a novice, pile number one, but you're truly a leader here. You're coming off here as the leader. The Sea Goddess card is all about, you know, she's sort of afloat on, on like a vast ocean and the vastness of the ocean sort of reflects her inner vastness so your potential is truly unlimited here but it's almost like you you have put certain modifiers on yourself here and what i'm picking up here with your modifiers is you don't even realize it but you, you have this tendency of you have this tendency and self mechanism of protection you almost have a way of filtering out all the negativity you go through. It's almost like even if you've even if you've gone through the ringer, even if you had the worst things happen to you here, pile number one, it doesn't you, you, you seem very unscathed by it. You know, your inner child is still very, very pure and you know that you you're not tarnished at all in your inner world, so to speak here. You know, you, you very much retain your sense of purity through all these very difficult transformations you go through. And I think it's because of that. It's because of this very nature of, the very transformational nature of your life. You, you, you may have a lot of planets in the eighth and the 12th house. And it's very important to be able to keep your nurturing inner child happy through it all. And, and you really have, you know, it's almost like when you transform, when you transform everything that you've gone through also transforms with you so you know there is no there is no damage left to mitigate really because you've sort of cleansed yourself here is what i'm really picking up but the biggest dis the biggest cognitive dissonance you have in seeing yourself is you see yourself as a very watered down version of who you truly are here you're definitely a leader you're definitely a visionary and you're definitely a conqueror you know I think I think your sole purpose and your destiny has a lot to do with conquer, conquest, not in not in the historical sense, but a co conquest here of your mind, body, and soul. And I feel I feel you're being put into certain situations to be tested and to grow from them, and to to really realize the complete the complete potential of of your own vastness and your depth here. You know, because you're definitely showing up here as a sea goddess and. The Sea Goddess is all about exploring uncharted territories and you're sort of meant to do this and everything that you've already been through has sort of just been preparing you for what is to come over here. Yeah, very, very sort of, very sort of Christopher, Christopher Columbus vibes, but in, in context of, of yourself here, you know, and I think what spirit is really saying here for you to do is to really, in order for you to, to, to conquer things successfully, what you really need to do here is 
conquer the self and i think you have been working on it you know i think you definitely mo- most of y'all are introverts here you know again this is a general reading you know you, you may not be an introvert but i feel most of y'all are introverts here and i i kind of get it being an introvert myself you you and you have a tendency of you have a tendency of watering yourself down for people and and you and you have this sense of not being understood really you know so spirit is saying don't do that anymore and really just shed your skin and and come into who you who you truly are here which is the sea goddess you know because you you're not you're meant to be a pioneer here you know you're you're meant to do things that have never been done by anyone and that is the reason your life has been so difficult here pile number 1 is what i'm sensing so we just pull some tarot and get some more information on how you see yourself and who you really are clear concise messages for it thank you how does pile one see themselves and who they really are Who's pile number one really? Clear, concise messages for it. Who is pile one really? Okay, too many cards. Who is pile one really here? Clear, concise messages for it. Thank you. Okay, so we have the three of swords. We have ace of swords. We have eight of pentacles. We have the star. We have the wheel of fortune, page of swords, three of cups, the moon, and ace of pentacles. So you could be any of the air signs: Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius. But first things first, what I'm really picking up here is what Spirit is saying is, in order to truly understand yourself and what will really help you in your own journey of self analysis here is, you need to really understand how cyclical your life truly is, and understanding how cyclical your life is, it helps you, it sort of helps you be centered through all the different, through all the different revolutions. so so to speak of your life here you know i feel you know you were sort of being uncentered here before compared to what you are now and you know it's definitely your experiences that has helped you that has helped you come back into center so to speak here you know a lot of you all need to do yoga if you all are not doing or do some sort of grounding it will really help but how you see yourself here is you you see, you're, you're definitely very vulnerable you know you definitely wear your heart on your sleeve and you sort of get your heart broken very easily often because you just expect you just expect you just sort of see the best in people and expect that you know that's the version of them that is going to come at you but that is not always the case and i feel you know you've become discerning over time here with the ace of swords you know so this sort of illusion of people it doesn't last very long with you here you you sort of come back into clarity very quick and you definitely see yourself as someone who's very very hard working and and you have a very great and a very healthy way of looking at yourself here i will say that you know you you see yourself as someone very very hard working and and you see yourself as someone who's who's deserving stardom in whatever you do here you know we have the 8 of pentacles and we have the star so like i said you know despite everything you've gone through your pile number 1 you 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 sort of have this sense of renewal every time you go through a, a go through an extreme transformation and the star card comes after comes after the tower right and the star is basically the second sort of rebirth in tarot so you need to just every every time you sort of going up and down in your own motion of of your life you need to be more self aware as to where you are in the cycle and not and not get attached to where you are that is really really important for you here 
and compared to who you are really here is you're a great communicator here pile number one let me tell you that first you are a great great communicator even you may not see this about yourself but spirit is really saying you need to express yourself more you know you're not i think you you do your bit but you need to do more and i think you know this pile number one you definitely need to do more and what spirit is saying is really start communicating your feelings your thoughts and your plan of action especially to people around you your friends you have a lot of depth to you you're definitely very very mysterious we have we have the moon card and we have the ace of pentacles with three of cups so you definitely and you know this this these crows are sort of looking at each other here so you're not you're not very afraid of going into your own inner depths you're not you're not afraid of traversing the abyss to get things to get answers that you need you're not afraid of you're really not afraid of confronting your shadow here and and bringing out the jewels from the abyss that are needed for you to transform and heal you know you you, you could definitely be your healer here pile number 1 and at at your core you're just a very joyous person who loves being around people even if even if even if you're living in a very introverted life if you if you're living a very introverted life right now just know it's not going to last very long because i feel you're definitely attracting your soul tribe here and i feel you know you definitely feel fish out of water here because you don't you don't relate to most people around you but know that that is going to change very very soon but what you need to keep doing is keep traversing the abyss here you know with the moon card you need to you need to definitely keep analyzing yourself more and more and another thing that i'm really getting here is you're very good at you're very good at coming to objective conclusions about situations and circumstances where you don't get closure but who you truly are is also you you you're just someone who's very very abundant here you know you are you are the abundance so to speak here so even if even if you are, if you, even if you don't have money right now just know that you will be coming into money just because of the way you carry yourself you know you you have a very old money feeling to you here pile number 1 so you just really need to allow yourself to you just need to keep keep doing your shadow work that you're doing know that it is working and keep being centered your t- your time is definitely changing i feel all the hardships that you've gone through are definitely going to materialize in a way in a way that you want you know so you're definitely a very very powerful manifester here you may want to pay attention to your dreams you may want to pay attention to signs and synchronicities you see right now because you're definitely being very very guided here pile number 1 and 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 this is going to help you in your journey of understanding yourself much better i'm going to pull an oracle any final messages for pile number 1 how can they analyze themselves better hmm okay so we have three cards here we have the winter take care of your needs we have the lord and we have air guardian so You're definitely a lone wolf. You're definitely someone who who's not afraid of traversing like I said, you know. You're not you're, you're not afraid of being alone for a very long periods of time. And in fact, you use that you use that time to dig out the deep truths about yourself. And I think you are you are in the process of uncovering who you truly are here. You know, you've definitely gone through a lot of transformations and just understand that 
all these former selves of who you have been, it, it is all going to start making sense into who you are becoming here. Because you're definitely showing up here as the alpha wolf. You know, you're someone who who can survive without a pack in the in the coldest of the winters. You know, you don't really need people around you. And that that showing up with the Lord, which is take charge with authority. You know, so you're definitely being called to take action here and build something from ground up. You know, you're definitely my pioneers, you know, you're definitely my entrepreneurs. You're just you're just meant to be very, very unique and original. And you're supposed to pave your path here. And what Spirit is finally saying here with the Air Guardian is shift, shift your perception. You need to really, you need to understand that your circumstances are not going to change. But what you can change is your perception of them. Right now, you're just, you're just very enmeshed in you're just very enmeshed in what has had had has happened in your life and what spirit is saying is you need to definitely feel your feelings but you need to purge it out you're not i feel in i feel in a lot of situations you were the victim even though you don't want to see yourself as that and you know it is definitely your alpha ness that doesn't let you see yourself as that you know you're definitely my wounded warrior as your file number one but what spirit is really really saying is you need to you need to really switch switch your perception here in a way that it, it changes your your emotional energy that you put into certain thoughts because when you when you put when you put so much energy into certain thoughts feelings it it gives it more charge than it really needs to you know so I, what i'm getting here is a rite of passage you know you're definitely moving into much calmer waters you know the wheel of fortune is definitely turning in your favor but you really just have to be patient with yourself while you're going through this cold, dark winter alone. And by, and by, at the end of end of the tunnel, you're definitely going to meet your soulmate and your soul tribe. Just know that. You could be very synchronistic to birds. Pay attention to birds around you. Yeah, so that's all I have for pile number ones. Again, this is a general reading. Take what resonates. And if you like my style of reading, please like the video, share, subscribe, comment. And if you would like to reach out for a personal reading, my Instagram handle and my email ID is given in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Thank you. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the Mumusa card, this is going to be a reading. So today we're looking at how do you see yourself versus who, who are you really, who you truly are. So we have two cards here. We have the Mumusa card and we have the Naughty Demons card. So what I'm getting here is, I'm not, I'm already getting the image of the Empress card here with, with the Mumusa card because you, you see how sort of she's protecting and taking care of the babies on her back, but she's still sort of vigilant in this wilderness you know so people you you definitely you're definitely coming off here as a very divine feminine energy it doesn't matter if you're a male or a male or a female you know you're very much you're very much in touch with your feminine side you know and you're, you're touching you're in touch with your feminine side in a way that is that is truly very nurturing to anyone and everyone you are around you know a lot of y'all could have kids here I'm, I'm not saying all of y'all do you know it's a general reading but i feel some of y'all do have kids here or you know you're just you're just like the mom friend to 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 all your friends you know and we have a very interesting duality with the naughty demons card and the mumusa card i feel here is you know despite having this this very nurture nurturing gentle caring you know loyal vibe to you you do contain this very intricate beautiful duality of being able to rain down justice on on people who wrong you here you know so 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 i'm getting very much like the lioness you know like the lioness sort of takes care of the cubs but she's also the huntress you know she's also the she's also the predator you know so 
so what I'm getting here is you definitely have a lot of people who take your kindness for weakness here, pile number two. You know, and and you all are very very sensitive empaths. You know, we haven't even pulled the tarot, but I'm I'm getting a very very feminine high priestess em empress energy here. You know, so so you not not only are you are you very nurturing, but you're also very psychic. You know, you're very instinctual, and you actually work on your instincts, and you're very feeling based here. You definitely operate out of your heart. But you know when you're rubbed rubbed the wrong way here, you know you don't you don't mind reprimanding who needs to be reprimanded here, which is so you know you're coming off here as a very balanced individual. You know, you definitely have a very balanced. You've definitely balanced your opposing polarizing aspects within yourself here. Yeah, I'm also noticing the sun and the moon, right? So you definitely, and I think what what confuses a lot of people is. And, and and I guess to a lot of people you come off as a hypocrite just because they they do not hold space and depth within them within themselves to to carry on such duality in a very effortless way. You know, it's like what I'm getting here is you know if if someone saw you out of work, for example, they would be like, oh, this is like a whole new side of you. I I didn't know that existed. You know, but you are very multifaceted here. You know, you definitely contain multitudes. Yeah. So we'll shuffle some tarot on top of this to see how do you see yourself and who you really are here. Too many cards. Spirit, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, star family. How does pile one see themselves? Pile two, sorry, you may be attracted to pile one. How does pile two see themselves and who are they really? Who is pile two really? We have the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, Four of Discs, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, the Chariot, Eight of Wands, and Six of Cups. Give me a minute. So you definitely could be any of the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer is coming on very, very strongly here. Could be a Sagittarius, Libra. So you definitely see yourself as someone who's very lucky and blessed and you and you really are you're really lucky and blessed here you don't take a lot of time to make up your mind or you may do take a lot of time to make up your mind but once you make up your mind you're very action oriented you're always on the go 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 here with the knight of swords you know you're very and you de you derive a lot of your sense of self from what you do and what you don't do so what spirit is saying here is you you have a you have a tendency here to you have a tendency here to sort of undermine yourself when you don't do your best work and you should not do that because your intrinsic value does not depend on how much you achieve and how how much you don't achieve you know but but regardless you're the kind of person that people would come to for money if if they needed you know with with the four of discs you're very you're very loved here, by the way, firstly, and you always seem to have contingencies. You know, you, you, you plan things out. You're very strategic, even in your actions. You know, it's not it's not just crazy action taking business. You know, you definitely mitigate things and plan things out and think about contingencies. And this is also how people see you. And we have the Ten of Cups. So but the way I'm getting here with the Ten of Cups is despite despite all the conflict you go through go through you 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 come you come to full circle in the end of 
whatever it is whatever whatever challenges you're dealing with here you always end up winning and like i said you know you are you know you're not just very lucky but you're also very blessed here and this is just how people see you and this is how you see yourself you know but who you truly are is is someone much much deeper like like i said you know i was getting this very strong feminine duality and we have the queen of cups here so you have you you i feel a lot of you all have shut out your heart because of everything that you've gone through but just know that when the right people will come along you will be able to give because you're definitely my givers here pile number 2 you're definitely my givers you're definitely you just have so much love that it cannot be contained and you just you just have to pour it into others and i feel because of this desperation you haven't you haven't exactly been very discerning about who who you've given your abundant and bountiful love to but i feel your experiences have have made you more discerning but i'm i am getting a very even though i'm getting this beautiful darkness and depth within within your being you know you sort of you sort of manage to always ground what you're going through you know you always seem to bring it into reality and ex- and express it in a way that you purge purge out the negativity yeah which is which is really beautiful you know it's almost like you have this ancient cosmic mechanism of not 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 being faced by what you've been through here and like i said you know i'm getting a very dynamic energy here with with the eight of wands and the chariot you know with with the queen of cups and six of cups so despite you being on the go 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 you know despite you being the action taker the the alpha wolf here so to speak you know you're definitely a, you're definitely a leader of some kind you know or you're or you're meant to you're meant to lead the pack but despite despite having such such strong leadership qualities you definitely retain the sense of feminine dark depth within you and you're not afraid of going into the depths to bring out the pearls you need which is which is again very beautiful and you know here we have six of cups you know i think this is this is the in archangel uriel I'm not sure i think i think it is him and you see how how he sort of he sort of coming out of the water you know so you're not you're not someone who's very very afraid of the darkness you you definitely are someone who who makes friends with their shadows and and understands that the shadow aspects within your being are there to actually support you and and you don't you don't sort of push the monsters below your bed you know you make friends with them you get to know them you know you definitely have this deep empathetic but yet analytical way of approaching and understanding things and bring it bringing it into reality here also you you're very much in touch with your inner child and you, and you have a very healthy relationship with your inner child here and that's what i'm getting here you know with with the blue and the red you know you, you definitely have this intense duality to you that you want people to understand because i think you definitely understand this this depth and this duality about you but you often feel misunderstood or you often feel people don't see you for who you are because they do they haven't met themselves at the depth that you are meeting yourself here you know so people may people may label you as complicated just because they don't want to do the work it takes to really authentically know themselves the way you do you know and 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 like i said you know you have this beautiful balance of of the divine with the material and you always somehow end up managing to to bring yourself back into balance here regardless of what happens circumstantially in your life which is which is a very powerful thing here let me tell you anything else i'm getting here with the cards yeah another thing that i'm really getting here is you may feel it's unfair that you always have to be the 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 caretaker friend the 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 bigger person in any given situation because 
it's just you understand not just yourself but you understand others so well that you just you just don't see the point of being resentful and you you sort of give in and what spirit is saying don't do that don't do that always you know learn to learn to have boundaries it's important for you to have boundaries your pile number to just just because how beautiful and open your heart is you know you you could be the kind who who fall in love easily and you know go go through the after effects of falling in love with the wrong person you just because your heart is so open and love just flows flows from you yeah i'm, I'm also noticing the lotus is here so like i said you know you're not you're not afraid of going into the depths at all and excavating and and bringing out what what is truly needed you know the core essence of of even the lessons you've learned here and the experiences that you've gone through beautiful you you you're very strong here pile number 2 you're much much you're much much stronger than you think you are you could be very synchronistic to owls pay attention to that you could live near the sea or you may want to live near the sea no that that is also going to happen we'll pull some oracle anything more for pile number 2 here sir Yeah, concise messages. Thank you. One more card, please. Okay, so we have four cards. we'll take them we have the knight we have the heart guardian we have the protection guardian and the high priest so like i said you know again i'm getting the sense of beautiful duality within you you know despite you having this heart of gold and being this love angel so to speak here you know with this beautiful big heart you understand that it is through certain conquest that you can allow yourself the softness to be you know and you have a very clear understanding of this within yourself already which is again beautiful you know so you definitely balance out your action and going to war with with your unconditional love which is which a lot of people cannot do you know and and i think a lot of people may think you are one way or the other but you're really not you sort of both and more and this is something people who won't understand because they just don't know themselves that well the way you understand yourself you're definitely very very protected and what spirit is really saying here is i feel a lot of you all are finally starting to follow your north node and when you finally start following your following your north node it's it's not exactly easy you know you, you definitely have more enemies than usual when you start walking in your north node and just know that you're definitely being guided pay attention to feathers birds all that around you that they, they definitely have a lot of messages you definitely have your guardian angels protecting you at the moment and you're meant to be this high priest you know so like i said you know you could you could be very much psychic yourself you know you could be a tarot reader reiki master yoga teacher a spiritualist of any kind or even not you know even if you have a very worldly job what 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 spirit is really saying here is you definitely command and have a lot of power and you, you're sort of understanding the your own potential and depth of your power and, and you you're, you're in the process of learning how to wield it so give yourself the leeway to make mistakes Give yourself the leeway to make mistakes and regroup yourself whenever needed. You know, with with the falcon. What I'm getting here is you really have a bird's eye view of certain things, 
or you, you or you end up getting a bird's eye view of things that don't always make sense to you you know so patience is really coming through over here but like i said you know you definitely have your divine feminine and your divine masculine very much in balance which is amazing you know very very few people can can bring them masculine and feminine in, in balance and then finally you sh finally learn and wield it as the high priest over here very very strong and you also understand your duality very very well you know i feel i feel you you may be very misunderstood all your life but just know that even that had a reason here so to speak any other messages yeah so that's all i have for pile number 2s again this is a general reading take what resonates leave the rest and If you like my style of freedom please like the video share subscribe comment and if you would like to reach out for a private reading you can find my email and my Instagram handle in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next reading thank you Hello pile number 3 if you chose the interloper card this is going to be your reading so today we're looking at how do you see yourself and versus who are you really who, who are you truly So we have two cards. We have the we have the imposter. We have the interloper card, and we have the ulu card. So what I'm getting here first right away is, by number three, you definitely suffer from imposter syndrome. You definitely suffer from a deep sense of being the imposter. And let me tell you, you are not. You know, you're not. You're not pretending to be better than you truly are. you are really that good over here you know so i i am sensing a deep a deep trouble with your your sense of self and and your self perception here because what you're showing up here as truly are is the is the ulu card and the ulu card is all about being a novice it's about it's about just learning a new skill and 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 being a novice at that you know so and and what i'm getting with this card in this context of of showing up as who you truly are is you are meant to be a perpetual novice i feel a lot of y'all are i feel a lot of y'all are teachers of some kind who aren't very comfortable being teachers because you just don't feel you know enough to teach and you sort of want to be in this space of perpetually learning and and which is great you know you you definitely have this You definitely have your own inner teacher and student aspects that you, that you keep shifting and changing from and into, you know. But a lot of times that you you just feel you're not good enough to do certain things, and let me tell you that is not the case. You know you you know, and what I'm getting here with the interloper card is like I said, you know, imposter. You know, so you, you definitely have deep imposter syndrome over here. You're definitely very chosen. you're very chosen to do what you're doing right now and i feel a lot of you all are doing certain things that aren't socially very acceptable or you know you you sort of for, forging your own path here pile number 3 and like like you see how this demon is amongst these three angels and he sort of pretending as if he's one of the angels but you you feel like you feel you, so what i'm getting here is you are actually an angel but you think you are the demon here but you're not you really not and i feel even though life may have put you to cer through certain things that that may have painted you I, or or i feel other people have tried to paint you in a negative light and this has really affected your sense of self you know a lot of you all are deep empaths and very very sensitive empaths so you take on to energy of other people you take on to you take on to energy that is not truly yours so i think what you need to do is you need to really ask yourself every night before sleeping what am i feeling and where is it coming from is am i is what if is what i'm feeling my feelings or is it or is it someone else's feelings you really need to ask yourself that every night and that will just help you get into a healthier habit of distinguishing other people's perceptions of you and your actual perce perceptions of who you are but you know you're definitely showing up as a perpetual novice and who just who just wants to learn you're very much someone who who loves learning but i feel and i feel what i'm getting here is 
I feel often you get pushed into places where you, where you're meant to be a teacher. So, for example, what I'm getting here is, again, I'm just giving an example. Try to fit it to your situation if it fits. You know, like, for example, if you go to go to a yoga class every day, and you know, you've just become very good at your yoga practice, but one day the teacher is sort of absent, and the teacher sort of tells you to teach, but you know, you're just sort of the student here, and it's just you're such good of a student that. It just makes you directly a good teacher, but you don't see yourself as a teacher, and, and you see yourself as this imposter. You know, so that's what I'm really getting here. But just because you've practiced so much, by default, you're a good teacher. You know, because a good teacher is just someone who has daily practice, right? So I f I feel this is like your defense mechanism to keep yourself humble, but you don't need to be humble all the time. Pile number, pile number three. You know, you definitely, you definitely don't need to be humbled all the time, and and you need to, and I think you humble yourself because you've had to water yourself down for people to understand and be digestible. But what spirit is saying is, don't be digestible anymore. You know, give, give people the constipation because it's it's them. You know, it's their perceptions and and just their inauthenticness that that is sort of stopping you from being who you truly are and. It is, it is finally affecting even how you see yourself, you know, because who you truly are, you know, you are this very pure, white light in a child being, you know, but you're sort of seeing yourself in a very distorted way here, which is not, which is not necessary at all. Hmm. We'll pull some tarot, get some more information. How does pile number three see themselves and who are they really? How does pile three, se three see themselves and who are they really? Clear, concise messages for it. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords, Five of Discs, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, Three of Wands, the Magician and the Empress. So, getting a couple of messages here. I feel, I feel you have, I feel you have not done work to your greatest potential because you've been very afraid of stepping onto people's toes and i feel a lot of y'all have gone through a breakup very recently and y'all are probably dating a narcissist and this has sort of affected your self-perception it's, it's almost become a negative filter through what you see yourself as because just because you've absorbed so much energy from this person but i feel you're finally in a place where 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 you, where you want to change and move and another thing that i'm getting really here is you're very very blessed and very very lucky here you know you're very very blessed because i feel you've you've gone through a lot of difficult situations you you've really been in situations that you know if it was someone else they probably wouldn't have made it out i'm just being very real here but you're very very protected and you're very very guided you know everything that you've sort of been through has been almost necessary for, for for the greatness that you're meant to achieve in this life and and that will only happen once you let go of this imposter syndrome that you're carrying within yourself 
But so that is just who you're sort of showing up as and how you see yourself. And who you truly are is so you're showing up here as the magician, the empress. You know, so that's a very big deal. So first things first, you're a, you're a powerful manifester here. Pile number three, you're a very powerful manifester, and you need to you need to almost be very careful about what you're saying because you are literally creating your reality by speaking it into existence. And you know, the magician with the empress, you're very very abundant. So even if even if you've grown up not having a lot of re resources or money, just know you're, you're meant to have a very abundant and a rich legacy. But it's definitely something you're going to work towards. Because what you're showing up here as a fi is, is the five of discs and the nine of wands. So, you know, I feel, I feel it's almost like you've been put into these situations in your life where, where you almost had to make ends meet or, you know, just try to get by. But the only reason you've been able to get by is because you have this warrior ancient spirit within you. You know, you definitely contain a lot of ancient cosmic knowledge and not just that you have, you, you literally have the spirit of a warrior within you. And you know, it is, it is this duality of being the queen of cups and being this very em uh, nurturing, empathetic, loving person and you know, keeping your heart gentle while the whole time, you know, you are this warrior spirit lady sort of being, or you know, you don't have to be a woman, you could be a guy, but you know, you, you have this, you have this undying spirit. It's almost like it's almost like you know you you've been put in put into these situations and you know you've sort of been hollowed in by your life to sort of break you but all it has ever done is it's only brought out your warrior spirit more and more you know it's almost like it's almost like your warrior spirit gets triggered every time you're sort of in like a horrible situation and it just helps you shed your old skin and be renewed into into who you truly are you know so in a way in a way you in a way you, you go through these ego deaths where you're losing yourself but you're not really losing yourself because what you're un uncovering is your true authentic self you know you almost it's almost like a spiritual awakening you know you're almost because of everything you've gone through you're sort of waking up to you waking up to your true inner depth and you know you are very powerful so you need to start seeing yourself like that you know, you see yourself as not being good enough. And let me tell you, that is not the case. That is so not the case. You know, the way you, the way of viewing yourself is not the truth. So you need, you ha there is some deep cognitive dissonance that you need to work through with your shadows over here because you're very powerful. You're very, very, very powerful. And you need to see, you need to see yourself as that because you're not seeing yourself as that. Right now, you're seeing yourself as heartbroken, you're seeing yourself as just trying to, you know, sort of get your car started again after like being bashed from every corner you probably could be. But just know that it is this warrior spirit in you that is, that is, that is really just going to carry you through. And I feel you're the kind of people, you don't even, you don't even understand why people hate you and why do you have hordes of people hating you. And let me tell you, it is because of this warrior spirit you have within you this untapped potential that you need to tap into and and that sort of ties back into the ulu card you know you're sort of being renewed again and again to sort of go back and tra traverse into your depths to find out who you truly are and you know every time you shed a shed an old skin it's almost like your authentic your authentic self comes out you're meant to be many many people in this lifetime you know and you're definitely creating your reality. So start planning, start having long-term plans about and, start, and, and just start visualizing how you really see your life from five to 10 years down the line. Because let me tell you, even if you feel things are out of reach, they're not for you, given that you're showing up here as the magician and the, and, and the empress, you know? So you definitely have the stuff that it takes to take you all the way. And I feel, I feel a lot of people may tell you that they see you being destined for greatness and you are destined for greatness here but you just don't see it in yourself because you're so you're so caught up in the in the mundane in the everyday in in the you're sort of just juggling your 
you're sort of just juggling your mundane life and that is sort of taking away your perception of who you truly are here and what spirit is saying is you need to unwind and unspiral yourself from your mundane things because that is just something that's going to go on till you die but what you can do now is really uncover your your true self and i feel you are you are on the precipice of doing this and i feel this the seeding will definitely almost trigger you and inspire you to to do that you know you're sort of climbing the ladder here in the three of wands so so you're very very powerful here final number three and you just need to just and i i i i feel the need to say you need to just almost fake it till you make it because you're not even faking it it's it's just who you are it's just everything you've gone through doesn't allow you to see yourself in this light but it's only when you uncover yourself and uncover these pains and sort of bring yourself to a place of being healed again will you be able to see yourself you know i feel a lot of you all need to cut out all the shows you're watching all the music you're watching spend time alone you know i think a lot of you all need a lot of sol solitude and time in nature and i feel you really need to spend time with yourself to understand yourself a little better here and i feel i feel all these all these tight knots that i'm that i'm energetically feeling within yourself will be loosened by just giving yourself the time to heal and recuperate the way you need to very powerful yeah pulse some oracle see if we can get any additional messages okay we have four cards we have the lord the druid star ancestor and air guardian so like i said you know you're meant to be pioneers you you're meant to i feel a lot of you all will even get jobs where you feel it doesn't match your portfolio or you you don't feel you're qualified enough but just know that if you have been given the job you're very well qualified you know so stop doubting yourself there is just too much imposter syndrome happening here and it may it may actually affect you from working on and achieving what you truly want here you know you you're meant to be a person in authority you're meant to be a person in power and you're meant to be a person in power while retaining this youthful joyous empathetic loving heart that forever blossoms within your being you need to hold space with the druid card you know you really need to hold space for all these different polarities that exist within you you know they already exist within you and that that itself should sort of imply that you know your own inner depths but you're not able to see that because and my nose is a cheese so that is just confirmation you know you're very very powerful and magical here pile number 3 and you're just not seeing yourself for that and what you need to do is you need to hold space you need to hold space for everything that has been already and you need to hold space for your former selves you know you need to you need to on honor all these different past past versions of yourself that you have been till now in order to be who this person you are right now you know i'm i'm really reminded of i'm really reminded of i know my friends keep saying you know you just keep bringing up alice in the wonderland but i really want to over here because there is this part where she's speaking to the cat caterpillar and she gets the advice right and the caterpillar sort of asking her you know who are you again and again and what she's sort of saying is she's just been so many different people that she she cannot exactly pinpoint out that who she is right now because she also understands that who she is right now is not going to be who she's going to be the next moment you know so it's it's definitely giving very i definitely see a lot of transformation here with with just your And, and 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 that's the thing right you understand how tra transitory things are with you in your life and that therefore even you don't like to compartmentalize yourself anymore but just understand that you are who you are right now for for the very specific reason you know so and i think i think your your, your sense of identity is 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 going to keep changing again and again you know coming back to values you know it's 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 definitely how you see yourself is also going to constantly change from moment to moment and and you need to you almost need to be okay with this 
very constant dynamic change within you and and still be grounded because you have the ability you really have the ability here and we have star ancestors so you know my star seeds you know it's definitely you could identify a star a star seed and what is being said to you here is again you're a pioneer you know you are the lord you know you are meant to shine like the star you're very unique you know you could be an aquarius or you could have any of prominent aquarius placements but you are very unique and you're not meant to do what everyone does and and that is the reason you've gone through everything that you've gone through and it's okay if you cannot relate to people you just need to follow the voice of your soul you you're definitely being very very guided right now you need to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because it's almost like your higher self possesses you from time to time and pushes you pushes you in the direction you need to go and finally we have the air guardian card so shift your perception what you need to understand is circumstantially things will never change you know you cannot change and alter events and timelines but what you can do is hold space for things that have occurred and 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 purge everything that you've gone through in a way that is healing i feel a lot of you all are indulging in any in addictions you know i feel a lot of you all are trying to fill a void with smoking drinking sex whatever it is you need to stop you need to start seeing things for the way they are you need to start seeing yourself for who you truly are and and when you start doing this will this shift shift in your perception will happen and it will happen regardless you know it's a, you you don't have a choice to to go through these transformations you know and i think you realize this by number 3 you know so what i'm getting here is you just need to be more patient and hold space for yourself and all these different versions of yourself that you've truly been here and and follow and follow the follow the very subtle voice in your heart it's definitely guiding you to where you need to be and please manifest please start manifesting things for your greatest and your highest potential here because you have everything it takes here everything is within you and it has always been within you and only when you truly understand this experientially will all this sort of shift here is what i'm picking up yeah so again this is very intense and interesting so yeah pile number 3 i i wish you all the best and i really hope you uncover your true self here because you know you, you have the stuff it it really takes And again, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like the video, share, subscribe, comment. And if you would like to reach out for a private reading, my email ID and my Instagram handle is in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Thank you.